Hi everybody, this is Matthias. In this video we will take a look at the Producer Essentials Pack Volume 1 for Bitwig Studio. And uh, let's create the beat with some of the sounds and presets of the pack. Let's go! Okay, so within the Producer Essentials Pack you have a few folders with uh, presets for the different uh, devices of the Bitwig Studio. You can see here we have a batch of presets for the, for the sampler within Bitwig, some 808 basses and uh, some plugs and uh, drones, pads, you name it, a Galvan C64 which is a very cool lead. And then we have a batch of presets for the Polysynth and the Phase 4 and a bunch of instrument layers which uh, can be a mixture of uh, samples and uh, mixtures of the sampler and uh, maybe the phase 4 or the polysynth. And then we also have a batch of FM4 presets and a very neat uh, producer essentials kit, which is a hybrid kit with uh, modern drum samples mixed with uh, acoustic drum samples from my Pearlmaster custom drum kit and uh, a bunch of Sildian symbols. And it also has uh, round uh, robin toms. And then we have a preset with impacts and sign drops. And a delay 2 preset and a bunch of chains. Which is a very neat delay reverb which is ducking to the incoming signal. So you get a more uh, clean, cleaned up uh, signal for your leads or your pads. And not so much of uh, mud with the reverbs and the delays. So that's a very good uh, starter preset for your general delays and reverbs for your pads and leads. So let's begin this beat by loading up the producer essentials kit and uh, just uh, flesh out a little beat. So here we have the hybrid kit, the producer essentials hybrid kit. You can see that we have a few macros already set up for the controls of this um, hybrid kit. So you can select between a bunch of kicks. And the same thing goes for the snare. So let's... Uh, Let's uh, select some a kick in a snare that we like for uh, a little bit. So let's uh, double click here in this uh, arrangement view so we can create the clip and then we drag it to maybe four bars. We can increase the tempo to maybe 135. And the great thing here is that we can select uh, the kicks and the snare while we have this uh, clip playing.
maybe a little knocking kick there so we can have an 8 to 8 base playing at the same time. You usually want to have a very light kick on the base side if you are going to add an 8 to 8 beneath. So let's uh, see if we can add some hi-hat to this. And I'm using a vacuum into a sprue here for entering the, the notes. I usually uh, jump between the mouse and uh, a stylus like the vacuum because uh, it's uh, very good for the ergonomics. To have some variation in your work environment. So let's go with that. And maybe we can add an open hi-hat somewhere in here. And a little bit of maybe a crash or splash here at the beginning of the beat. And you also see that I've set up a macro here to control the the release of the closed hi-hat and also the release of the open hi-hat. And the same thing goes for the ride too. So you have very good control of how to how you want your hi-hats to sound. And you can also do a little automation on this so you get a little bit more of a live feel for this uh, drum part. So let's also do that. We can activate this uh, automation right and then. Maybe a little bit of percussion on this too. Okay, so let's add uh, 808. And then we can search for that. It's uh, a sampler preset. We can load up the first one and hear how that sounds first. So let's create our MIDI clip and enter some notes. Now we can also try out the second, the second 808 bass and see how that sounds. Let's drag that to this track. Our plaque, we can see. Take a listen to that preset. Yeah, so maybe add something like that. Now we can go into this uh, R plug and see if we have some, uh, yeah, I think we have a high pass filter here at 60 hertz, but uh, we will increase it slightly because we have the 8 to 8 
down below and we don't want to have conflict with uh, with the bass so for all other sounds except the 808 we will do some high pass some serious high pass Okay, so what about uh, the Bowie Epic, Epic Pad? Let's see how that preset sounds. Yeah. Somehow that uh, note didn't get uh, entered, so we will add it manually. And we will have that, uh, that uh, little lead in the background a little bit. Okay, so let's add another sound. Maybe this uh, Galvan C64. Let's uh, audition that sound. Yeah, so let's add that to this uh, hip hop uh, dark uh, trap slash hip hop kind of beat. Okay, so let's add a final sound. We need something more on this one. How about adding a ping top? Yeah, so it wasn't uh, really <laughs> that tight, but uh, let's uh, go in here and press Command-A to select all and Q to quantize. Okay, so that's how you create the beat with the Producer Essentials Pack Volume 1 for Bitbeat Studio. If you have any questions on this video or the Producer Pack, please let me know in the comments. And uh, you can now check out my next video on uh, more music creation with Bitwig Studio. Thanks for watching and uh, catch you soon. Bye bye! <laughs>